Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with a, another Dokkan Battle Animation Analysis video. And today, of course, we are going to be taking a look at the brand new STR Super Saiyan Goku exchange into Super Saiyan Gohan. We have plenty of animations to get through, by the way. Stay hydrated. Always got to preach the hydration, bro. Hydrate or hydrate, baby. But let's go ahead and get into today's animations. As you guys know, of course, as per usual, we go through them in the funny regular speed, and then we go through them in the funny solo speed. And first of all, can I say, wow, I am so delighted to finally have this attack as an animation and it looks as good as I was hoping, honestly. I was really hoping that this animation would look super good, and I think it does. There's been so many fan animates of that animation over the years that I'm glad that it actually turned out as well as it did. This section, by the way, is... Oh, man. I don't know. All of the renders of Goku and Gohan in this section just look so good. Maybe it's just because, obviously, they, you know, are a lot of close-up shots because it's an exchange animation. But, oh, man, they look so good. Alright, so, oh, we gotta talk about that. There are some things in Gohan's animations that are crazy cool. I, I definitely think out of the two, right, from, like, a animation perspective, not animation perspective in terms of, like, what their attacks are in animation perspective in terms of like animating their attacks, right? I think that Gohan absolutely crushes Cell, even though I think that Cell's animations definitely weren't bad. Oh man, Gohan just has some like peak Dragon Ball stuff in here. And I think they did a excellent job overall animating it. I am, I would say, very satisfied with this guy's animations overall. Funny enough, I think that Goku, even though the animation is good, I think, funny enough, he almost has the most lackluster animations here. But I guess he is basically the least amount of the card, even though he is the base card. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So obviously, we have Goku stancing up against Cell, and he flies into the air. This section does look pretty cool. Definitely a very nice job of animating Goku, excuse me, not only just the key, but obviously with him jumping into the air, a very cool transition of obviously, you know, he goes off screen, they have the sky go boom a little bit, and then he flies up into the sky, and I love the angle that they take with this too, where obviously they have the sky sort of spin around him as he's spinning in a circle, definitely very, very cool, I really want to know, I posted all the assets already, but I really want to find this little black dot asset, because that's Goku, <laughs> But anyway, so obviously we have him fly up to the sky here, looking down. I will say I do wish that this asset was a little bit higher quality because this is definitely a lot more akin to like a super attack sprite animation, um, rather, or like this section rather, like the model of this Goku rather than like the cleaner stuff that we're going to see in a little bit it doesn't look too bad but i'm definitely not a fan of when they do the thicker black lines on the character however we get a little bit of a jarring transition i will say even when i was like watching it i thought it was a little bit jarring but it doesn't matter because oh we go to peak bro ah, it looks so good like this literally is just a screenshot from the anime <laughs> like i know it's not just a screenshot from the anime but you can't not tell me that they didn't just rip this right out of the film from the anime, right? This part looks amazing. They did such a good job getting Goku shading perfectly. They did such a good job animating him, bringing his hands together, getting his face absolutely perfect. Uh, I will say, this is a little bit of a uh, interesting jump here. here I want to see that in uh, full motion here. Let's take a look at the section of full motion one time with his hands moving together. Okay, so it's not as jarring, but it is still a little bit jarring, definitely, with um, him, like, winding up for the Kamehameha to them having him be a little bit more back in the frame. That is definitely, like, when they go from this, right, to this, I kind of wish they would have had him, like, actually pull his arms back rather than just a hard cut to him pulling his arms back. But I think even here, he does look pretty good. His head does look maybe a little bit too big for his body now that I'm looking at it here, but it's so quick that you don't even really notice it. 
So obviously, we have him pull his arms back even more here. Whoops, didn't mean to go full screen. Before he obviously transitions to the sky. Ah, oh, man. I really wish the sprites were better, man. Because it would be so cool if it was like, actually sell looking up at the sky you know like what's he doing you know type of thing rather than like this almost feels like a kid playing with their action figures right and having cell um just sort of like be there just sort of standing there rather than actually being like attentive to the animation it's like you know you're a kid and you're putting your action figures on the floor but you're not really like moving their head or anything like that i don't know it's just sort of interesting to me that they don't have a sprite that would fit like that. Anyway, we have Goku glowing in the sky, which is pretty cool. Definitely a very, very nice shot. Obviously, we have him sitting in the sky getting ready to fire. The background here, by the way. Ooh, beautiful. Very, very nice, if I do say so myself. Looks great. The teleport away. I love the teleport effects, too. You know that I am a sucker for these. I think they always do a really good job of it. It kind of looks like a little kid drawing, funny enough, like, not in a bad way, but just like a little kid would make some scribbles and be like, look, it's Goku! <laughs> but obviously, it's a transitional frame. We have the boy pop into existence here. That was a very quick, very quick pop in, right? Where he literally just goes, and then he's there. But then, obviously, we have this... Oh, he did such a good job with this shot. When I saw this in the animation, I was like... Listen, the rest of the animation could be garbage. They got the good part. <laughs> they got the part that I was hoping that they would get down. They got it perfect. They definitely nailed this part. I don't think there's any denying that. The shading looks so good. Obviously, we have the transition to the card art here. Which, funny enough, this card art is so goofy because the background is just, like, cut. This part looks really, really nice, too. With Goku, obviously, coming forward. His hair fluttering in the wind, obviously moving his hands. It is a little bit of an awkward angle because you're so close to him. So he kind of does look a little bit goofy here. But obviously it looks fine in actual motion. This shot too looks really, really nice. And then obviously we have him fire the Kamehameha. Again, I kind of wish they would have made these assets a little bit more high quality. I think even despite how technically small they are or just not using like as high quality as we just saw on the zoom in on Goku's face, right? I still think that they nail the like coloring here, but I definitely wish they would have made it look a little bit higher quality, especially since this is basically just a PNG. But obviously his clothes do move uh, in the fray, right? And obviously his hair is sort of fluttering too. Um, in the explosion as well. But I think the key blast looks really good. Obviously, the shading on Goku here looks cool too. Um, the actual key on the edges of the Kamehameha. Ooh! Very, very nice, if I do say so myself. They look fantastic. Again, I think for the most part, despite the parts where they use a little bit like smaller models for Goku, I think overall they nailed this animation very, very well. The smoke looks really, really cool too. Yeah, I'm very happy that they did this one well. And this shot is really sick. That is definitely a very, very nice end shot too. I like that one a lot. I'm assuming that that will be the KO screen um, if you end up beating the enemy. All right, so obviously we move on to the exchange animation. This is so good, bro. When I watched this, I was thoroughly impressed because like I always say a lot of the time, I feel like I'm not as impressed by the way that the characters look these days. I'm a lot more impressed by effects and stuff like that. But oh man, they nailed it. They nailed the look of Goku and Gohan here. Like even from the start of this, right? Where we obviously have um goku sort of in his stance just sort of looking up uh getting ready to throw in the towel right obviously the change in hair color the expression is perfect the key around him looks super super nice then the change into the sort of base form super saiyan right where it's sort of like not powered up instead of being a lot more orange it's this sort of like um yellowish color right they definitely did a very good job of nailing that for sure. Obviously, the lip flaps look really, really good. Oh, he, it just looks so good. Like, I look at this and I'm like, man, this looks like it was ripped right out of the anime too. Very, very nice. Obviously, as Goku is speaking here, we do have him lean back a little bit, which is nice because they definitely could have just made this like a standard 
PNG with him just sort of, you know, like talking, right? But then we have this shot where he's looking at Gohan. Gohan does look a little bit out of place here because obviously like the different quality of the assets on screen here and he does look maybe like a little bit too big for how he should look, I think. He should have been a little bit smaller. Um, but either way, I think the shot still looks pretty good. This is probably the worst looking shot um, out of this entire animation, which is saying something because I still think it looks pretty good, um, even with the uh, sort of like thicker black lines on Goku here. But this, oh, this shot is very, very nice. Uh, we have some very hard, uh, like sort of emphasis lines as well. I don't know how I feel about them being like this intense because usually they're a lot more like on the edges of the frame right rather than being so close to the character right because these really emphasize <laughs> gohan get him <laughs> you know it is very intense with these black lines i don't know how i feel about them being so close to goku i feel like they definitely could have pulled them back a little bit and it still would have given the same effect of like intensity but either way it's definitely not the worst thing in the world obviously we have goku telling the squad that gohan's about to tag in this shot where gohan goes oh <laughs> is really really good too i think they nailed the gohan's expressions in this for sure obviously we have goku landing even here right you could see gohan is like dad what are you doing dog <laughs> very very cool this shot of goku is also really really nice i think they nail this too where goku is patting him on the back because even this like huge chin from goku from this angle is accurate to the anime which is pretty cool obviously we have a nice pan up this is the only other thing actually that i was kind of like um sort of a little bit disappointed with in this animation and it's nothing too like crazy but i wish they would have panned up a little bit more right because this shot is really really nice and even have gohan's cape moving in the background i didn't even notice that the first time but i kind of wish that they would have like a little bit pan up because I would have rather Goku's like the top of his hair been in the shot. That is a super big nitpick because I think that the characters look fantastic. Like I think again they nailed the look of Goku and Gohan here. But I do kind of wish that they would have panned this up a little bit because I feel like it's a little bit too low. Um, if I'm being honest, this shot is good. <laughs> Dad, you can't be serious. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely did a good job at nailing Gohan's expression here for sure. Um, very, very cool. Gohan's hair, the color of him as well looks really, really good. Yeah, the slight motion as well, which completely unnecessary, but very much so appreciated. Then obviously we have the chuck towards the ground. I did not even notice this. Funny enough, they animate it where it needs to be animated well, because this section, right, of the cape actually hitting the ground, I think is animated really well. There is only one, like, sort of fade frame here, and you don't even really notice it when you're actually looking at it right because it's so short and so quick i think that part is animated really really well i didn't even notice actually until i viewed it just this one time when they have him actually taking off his cape it is a lot of fades um if thank you <laughs> i was like please start because it looks like it's lifting off right and i will say i do kind of prefer the fade here because they could have just had the png literally go whoop and lift up to the sky and then go right off the screen right rather than having it fade away so i guess i prefer the fade here even though i'm not usually a fan of it but um, I think that they animated this part super well with the cape where it needs to be right and obviously the smoke effect hitting the ground too very very nice as well obviously we have this shot I know a lot of people when they first saw this shot they're like oh it, it's the card art it's reused and I was like bruh because <laughs> here's the thing about this right obviously for when they take from scenes from the anime and especially scenes that are like already sort of present in dokkan i know a lot of people are like yeah it's really like the wojack meme right like with the guy with the scruffy facial hair right and he's like pointing back at the thing and it's like it's the same card art you know but like the thing is obviously it's just a scene from the anime it's just a pose like i understand that obviously it's a pose in dokkan and it's art that we've seen in dokkan before but this i guarantee you they didn't even use the same asset in this whatsoever maybe they looked at it for reference right but none of that 
is in this shot of Gohan. They completely redrew this because if you take a look at the assets side by side, the coloring is entirely different. The quality is entirely different. This is a completely different asset. And I know that it's like people are like half joking, but still, I just want to talk about it because this is the only place that I get to talk about it. And by the way, it looks fantastic. <laughs> Had to add that last part in there. All right. So obviously now we get to Gohan's actual animations here. This part is really cool. This close-up shot of Gohan's face. Um, I didn't even really notice that the first time I watched this. This shot is really, really nice. Definitely a very, very cool angle um, and a very nice close-up of Gohan. I think they nailed his face here too. Like his, um, just like his overall look really, really well. This is also a very interesting cut, but I think this is a very cool way of showing some perspective too. Because obviously we have Gohan jumping up to the sky and then flipping backward, right? Definitely a really cool perspective. And it's awesome because the key blast, you can see it forming a little bit off screen with the light that they show. But then obviously it comes into frame when Gohan is finally back into frame flipping. And again, they nailed his expression here. I think that they got Gohan really, really well. Whoever does Dokkan stuff must really like Gohan because I feel like every time I see a Gohan animation... I feel like they nail his expression really, really well. Super fluid animation. Again, I think they get the right snappy movement where they need to when he finally whips the blast. Very, very good job on that one for sure. I will say the only jarring thing about this one, honestly, is it isn't even like the animation itself. It's that like these assets here are a lot higher quality, right? Like you can tell that these are very, very nice looking compared to when he zooms out a little bit it's like okay this and then especially this is like a lower quality story asset of like when a character is talking right so that is a little bit jarring when you're watching it in movement it's not too bad because obviously you know let's actually take a look at it in the full motion when obviously it is in full time speed oops not the super super mega fast speed right when it is in full time speed right i'm sorry it give me the funny with the zoom there we go look the flip looks really really good and it is like kind of hard to tell honestly that that transition so that it's really when he gets the shading on his face that i think it's only noticeable it's not there for very long so most people probably won't even catch it but you know just the shading, I think, is what really gets me for his face there. Obviously, we have the explosion effect with Cell flying backwards. We have Gohan charging forward here, which looks really good. I know that's sort of an iconic shot for Super Saiyan 1 Gohan as well. Definitely some really cool transitions, even though we do have a little bit of fade in some of these, right? Like here, I definitely think that this one looks a lot better because this fade looks a lot less like a fade of them cutting corners and a lot more like a anime spin transition that is present in definitely a lot of anime so i think that that one is definitely very well placed too and i will say oh the rotoscoping is sick i know like probably not many people will care about this but whenever i see rotoscoping in dokkan i always pop off because i think that they absolutely kill it every time and it's crazy that they can nail those animations with just some PNGs, right? Basically, you can see Gohan looks like that he's a 3D model here in the way that he's spinning, right? Because obviously, he looks very 3D. His shoulder moving backwards and his leg moving backwards as well looks like he's a 3D object. But no, that is just a bunch of PNGs in quick succession to make you think that that's the case. Oh, so good. They nailed it. This is another thing. The first instance that I believe I noticed, at least of rotoscoping in Dokkan, was definitely STR Cooler when they had the shot of it spinning around his body. All right, so then we do have a little bit of a jarring fade. I will say this one definitely isn't as good as the other one. I think the other one helped too because it had some motion lines, and obviously this is just one PNG going into another. But this kick is real, or kick, I'm sorry, this punch is really, really good. And this is a cool um, shot actually here too because we obviously go from like him punching forward to now you're in Gohan's face, which is a very interesting cut. But I like these close-up shots a lot. I think that they're cool. Him flying back is nice. Definitely a decent cut. Oh, man. Okay. It's so smooth, bro. <laughs> I don't know why Cell didn't get this treatment. But, man, someone at the studio must love Gohan. So, obviously, we have this zoom out from his face. Like, let's go through this whole thing here, right? We have the zoom out from his face to going back into the sky. Then, obviously, him stancing up. 
to getting ready to go into the Masinko pose. His hands going forward immediately, rising up to the sky, doing the raise the roof, right? There are a couple of cuts there, but honestly, in motion, it looks fine. We obviously have a beautiful key blast. I love when they do the little dots around the key, right? Obviously, that is a Masinko staple. And I think that they do a great job of that. I wish that the obnoxious cut-in, even though I like the Dokkan cut-ins, I wish it wasn't there because then you could see it a little bit better, which would be cool. But, you know, it is what it is. They nail the electricity so good too. I think that they absolutely kill that part as well. Obviously, then we have the transition into the card art here too. And then, of course... We have the actual Masinko. I think the anime-esque background speed lines look really good. Again, the electricity definitely nails it. The color change from obviously it being um, right up against his face and it being a little bit glowy towards his face to then the shadow covering himself like this and this sort of yellow hair look is really, really good. They definitely do a good job of picking a good spot for the black and white. And, oh, the road is going! Ah! <laughs> It's so good, bro. Okay, so let me let me break this down for you, right? So this hair transition is a little bit goofy, actually, but you don't really notice it, I feel like, in practice. Even the shading changes quite drastically there. I didn't notice that for sure when I was watching it, but look at how this looks 3D. Look at how this looks like it's actually spinning around Gohan. I did notice this, I will say. This is the one unfortunate thing about this part. I definitely noticed that transition of assets when I was watching it in full-time speed, which is a little bit unfortunate, but... Oh my gosh, like this is how I wish they would do more Dokkan essays. Like I always talk about this where I wish that from one angle to another, instead of just doing a sharp cut, they would do a little bit of rotoscoping shenanigans and actually have it go from like one pose to another, right? But I think they do an awesome job here of going from this side angle of looking at Gohan to having the camera wrap around, right? To being over his head like this. And obviously looking from sort of a top-down angle. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, man. It is really, really sick. And then obviously we have a nice fade to white. I also love the little touch as well that Gohan sort of moves backwards as well. Just sort of to emphasize the transition. Very, very cool. The explosion effect is so good as well. The rocks exploding too. We have the explosion there as well. Very, very nice. Then, obviously, we have the... Whoo, baby! We have the Super Saiyan 2 animation. What is this team? Those are all SRs! Unless that's the, uh, the Bye Guys Goku on the bottom there. That Interesting. Okay. So then, obviously, we have the arguably best animation of this. I don't know. I think he has a lot of great ones. Um, but obviously here we have the Super Saiyan 2 animation coming up, the Super Attack Counter. So obviously we're going to have our favorite Fizz SR Cell, I guess. <laughs> Super Attack. Wait, hold on. Just because I'll never get to point this out ever again, his toe is in the frame. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. Interesting. So obviously we have the Cut-In Spark. And then, and then, ladies and gentlemen, ooh, man, okay, so we have Gohan's fist clenching up here, which looks really, really good. I will say, I know a lot of people were kind of like, oh, Gohan looks a little bit weird here, but upon some inspection, inspection rather, and seeing some things on the Twitter timeline, I guess Gohan actually did look like this in the manga. Um, he actually did have, like, this exact expression, so this is still accurate, even though it looks a little bit funny. This, I will say, does look a little bit jarring and is definitely, like, my least favorite part of this animation. Again, this face is accurate to the manga, so this isn't, like, some weird thing that they came up with. I, I have a feeling the animators were sort of scratching their heads and making it. They're like, really? This is what we're going with? Okay. Um, in terms of his facial expression. But I will say, this transition from Super Saiyan 1 to 2 is so quick. It is a little bit jarring, for sure. Because, obviously, you know, I think it doesn't help that... When he actually is turning Super Saiyan 2, right? It's such a big moment and it takes so long for it to happen, right? Because obviously, you know, he's like, you know, 16 dies. And then it's like, ah! <laughs> you know? And so just to see him go like, <laughs> oh, hey, so how's it going? <laughs> you know, it's just like very jarring. 
even in full time speed, it definitely doesn't look as much like it's just one PNG snap into the other. It looks a little bit more fluid, but it is definitely like a very quick. You're like, it's in your face immediately. Where he's like, I don't know. It's just a little bit odd to me. Moving back to our slow speed, though, we obviously have this shot of Gohan. I will say, I'm not the biggest fan of this shot. I'm not really too crazy about how he looks here, and I think the electricity is super lackluster, especially for how crazy this is going in this moment. The smoke does look very good, though, and I will say the key going around him looks good. The rocks look cool. Now, from here on out, I will say it is like peak, peak Dokkan, except for the electricity, though. I will say the electricity here, they still kind of keep it from the last shot, and I think that they actually may use... Look at the formation of that. Yeah, I think that they used the same assets there, or at least they didn't like remake them and they just copy pasted them for there, which is kind of unfortunate because it looks super cheesy and kind of like a flash animation for the electricity there. But the smoke looks good, the key looks good. Ah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Woo, baby! Wow, this shot is amazing. Holy cow! Um, this transition is like still fine i think even though it obviously is a little jarring going from like the full color to him being enveloped in the kamehameha but honestly even when you're watching it i don't think it's too like crazy of a jump but yeah this shot is super nice gohan looks amazing here obviously we have a better electricity here the smoke effects look great too we have the key blast oh we'll get to that in a minute don't you worry we have the Key Blast also coming towards the planet here. Again, everything engulfed in blue looks so cool. Very iconic for Gohan for sure. Then we have a very nice cut to showing his arms flying backward. I wish they would do more stuff like this because this is just so cool. This is such a nice like just in-between transitional shot. Rather than going from like this immediately to the Kamehameha. Obviously having him wind up for it. And it looks so good to it. Just a plain back background. Definitely very, very nice. We obviously have the flash of white here before the Kamehameha sort of flashes in your face a little bit. And then Gohan is engulfed in blue. And oh man, they absolutely decimated this one. They didn't kill it, bro. They decimated it. <coughs> Choking on my own spit because I'm so excited. The clothing for Gohan looks amazing. The hair looks so amazing for him. They nailed the shot. The shading is just like, oh, man, it's so good. <laughs> so good, bro. I don't, I don't know how they could have done better on that, honestly. I, I don't think they could have done better on that section for sure. Anyhow, obviously, we haven't pushed back the heat blast, and this is really, really nice. We have a little bit of movement here on Gohan, too. And obviously the way that this looks of it actually colliding with the blast and then sort of pushing it in and giving it a little bit of like a cave in, right? It's almost like when you push in a bubble, right? A little bit before it's about to pop. They definitely nail that look because that obviously happens a lot in the anime when there's sort of the key clashes, right? Looks very, very good. Again, the rocks, the smoke look very, very great too. This looks really nice as well, that obviously enveloping the enemy's key blast too, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, the enemy sprite isn't even like firing a blast. They're just kind of like J chill in there like, oh, look, my infinite doom. <laughs> but yeah, the way that they have the key look like it's sort of moving and zooming forward in the blast looks awesome. Obviously, the lines here add a lot of emphasis, too, with it blown in the wind. There we go. He finally stances up and gets ready to take the hit. I will say this part is a little bit lackluster, though, because I feel like after all of this, like, crazy shenanigans of Gohan blasting him away, just this dinky little, you know, like, line sort of flying into the sky. It is a little bit animated, but, like, even the little tail that is, like, the extra dot that's supposed to be, like, what fades away at the end is just sort of there, like, throughout the whole thing. So this part is kind of like a little bit eh to me. I wish it would have been a little bit more extravagant. But either way, very, very, very good. Wow. Okay. So final thoughts on this guy. Overall, very satisfied with these animations. I think the parts that needed to be super great, they did super great. I definitely think... Even though I really like Goku's animations, I think that they absolutely killed it with Gohan. Gohan's animations are just so peak, bro. They, they're, they're really good. Like, I think that this might be contender for, like, top five of the year so far, right? Like, it's hard to beat the anniversary LRs for sure and some of the other stuff that we've gotten. But 
oh man like there is just a lot of really cool stuff in here and obviously the rotoscoping you know i am a sucker for when they do that type of stuff so <sighs> very cool thank you guys so much for watching definitely let me know what you think of these guys in the comment section below of course are you going to be summoning don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to see more of this series because i absolutely enjoy doing it and i will catch you guys in the next one don't come assets out peace